A few weeks ago, I went to Carlton Marshes in search for the Fenraff spider and came up empty handed. But today, I've came to RSPB Strumpshaw Fen and I've been told that one was seen less than 24 hours ago. I've got my hopefully lucky charm with me. So let's see if we can find the UK's potentially largest spider. As always, I'll be showing you any other wildlife I find along the way, but today would need to be a short trip as Reva is just getting used to being forward facing in her carrier and I don't want to push my luck. Along this track, I always tread carefully as these pathside sleepers are usually home to a lizard or two. This is definitely not a lizard, but is instead a male ruddy darter. These aerial predators can catch food faster than they can eat it and are sometimes seen with several flies in their jaws at once. Further down the path, I caught a flash of movement. Can you spot it? This is a lizard, a common lizard to be exact. Like other reptiles, they are cold blooded and rely on heat from the sun for energy. With it being a warm day, they were fully charged and dashing about in search of prey. We left them to it and carried on, not realizing that with a little bit of help, just around the corner, our spider hunt would be over. Resting among the vegetation and gathering quite an audience was a big but beautiful beast. This is a female Fenraff spider with a leg span of up to 7 centimeters. They're an extremely rare species, one of the rarest in the country, and she is only here at Strumpshaw as the result of a successful translocation program since 2010. Fenraff spiders are active hunters and don't build webs to catch their prey. Instead, they are able to run across the water's surface to grab unwitting creatures. This includes other spiders, damselflies and small insects, and they are even capable of grabbing tadpoles and very small fish from beneath the water's surface. Apparently, 2024 has been a really good year for them, and hopefully this means it won't be too long until I bump into one again. Well, how great was that? I crashed into a couple of people who watched my videos and they showed me a Fenraff spider. Although I'm pretty sure my little helper didn't get to see it. She'll have plenty more opportunities in the future. Now I've heard that there has been an otter scene entering the reserve a little while ago. So I'm going to carry on walking to the next hide. And who knows, maybe I'm going to show you the UK's largest spider, potentially, and an otter in the same video. Fingers crossed. With Reva asleep, I figured I may as well make the most of my time at Strumpshaw. It would be brilliant to see an otter, after all. The next hide is called Tower Hide, and it provides a brilliant vantage point over one of the reserve's largest pools. There was no sign of an otter, but there were a few interesting birds, such as this great white egret, which was hard to miss on the far bank. Great white egrets are recent colonisers to the UK, first breeding in southern England in 2012. They have gradually spread northward since then, and this year was the first time that they have successfully nested in Scotland, with three birds fledging from a nest just last month. Nearby, was one of their more familiar relatives, a grey heron. All species of heron have special feathers on their chests that are very fragile and break down to form a powder-like dust. The birds brush this through their other feathers where it helps to protect them from becoming waterlogged and dirty. After a little while, the bird took up a weird posture which I've never seen before. According to Google, this helps them to warm up but it was already a warm day, so that doesn't make much sense. I think it was trying to cool down or to dry its feathers. Out on the water were quite a lot of ducks, most of which were mallards and gadwall, except for this individual, which is much rarer. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments down below. And if you don't, hang around to the end of this video where I'll put the bird's name on the screen. And make sure you watch my next video 
which is going to be about the ducks of the UK. Reaver's nap was coming to an end, so I left the hide and started to make my way towards the car. Of course, I checked every opening where I could see water, still hoping for the glimpse of an otter. At one of them, another great white egret decided to put on a bit of a show, doing a flyby and then landing in a nearby tree. These have a wingspan of up to 1.7 meters and stand nearly a meter tall, and seeing one so close is a real delight. This one was holding its neck in an S shape, which reminds me, why not subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this video and would like to see more in the future. From here on, I didn't stop to film any more wildlife and just enjoyed walking with my daughter. I can't wait until she can start to fully understand the amazing nature with which we share our planet. Hopefully, she'll love it as much as I do. And that's where this video comes to an end. It's time to get home and have some milk, or well, at least one of us. If you did enjoy this video, check out the one that's on the screen now for more British wildlife. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.